Hi there, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving it a like. It really helps me out and I really appreciate your support. Welcome back to our Then and Now series, where we take a look at how some of our favorite actors and actresses have evolved over the years. Today, we're diving into the world of Breaking Bad, one of the most critically acclaimed and beloved shows of all time. We'll be taking a look at the incredible cast of characters and exploring the impact that this show has had on their careers. From the iconic portrayal of Saul Goodman to the stellar performances of Gus Fring and Hector Salamanca, we'll see how these actors have grown and evolved since the show's premiere. But, it's not just the actors we'll be examining, as we'll also explore how the show has influenced the entertainment industry as a whole. So join us as we take a trip down memory lane and see how Breaking Bad changed the game forever. Bob Odenkirk is an American actor, comedian, writer, and director. He has had a long and varied career in the entertainment industry, but he is best known for his role as the shady lawyer, Saul Goodman, in the critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad. Odenkirk joined the show in its second season and quickly became a fan favorite for his portrayal of the sleazy, yet likable character. His performance as Saul was widely praised for its comedic timing and dramatic depth. He was in his mid-40s during the filming of Breaking Bad and brought a unique energy and humor to the show. He drew inspiration from real-life attorneys he had met in the past, creating a character that audiences couldn't help but love, despite his questionable morals. Odenkirk's career extends far beyond his role in Breaking Bad. He has written for a number of popular sketch comedy shows, including Saturday Night Live and The Ben Stiller Show. He has also directed and starred in his own series, Mr. Show with Bob and David, which ran for four seasons and developed a cult following. Now, in his 60s, Odenkirk has had a long and varied career in the entertainment industry and continues to be a sought-after actor and director. His appearance hasn't changed much since Breaking Bad, he's aged naturally but is very well maintained, he's visibly lost weight and his hair has turned gray. In recent years, Odenkirk has continued to act in various projects such as its spin-off series Better Call Saul and various other TV shows and movies. His portrayal of Jimmy McGill, aka Saul Goodman in the spin-off series was highly praised by critics and won him a Golden Globe nomination. Giancarlo Esposito is an American actor, director, and producer, best known for his role as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He joined the show in its second season and quickly established himself as one of the show's most iconic and memorable characters. Esposito was in his early 50s during the filming of Breaking Bad, and his performance as the powerful and calculating drug lord, Gus Fring, was widely praised for its complexity and nuance. He was able to convey a sense of danger and control, while also making the character relatable and even likable at times. He prepared by researching the character and worked on creating a unique physicality for Gus Fring including his subtle gestures and movements. Although this is his most famous role globally, he has acted in dozens and dozens of TV series and films in his career, both as an actor and sometimes even as a voice actor. He has won multiple awards and nominations, including an Emmy nomination for his role in Breaking Bad. Now, in his late 60s, continues to act and direct. After Breaking Bad, Giancarlo Esposito has continued to work in the entertainment industry, taking on various roles in film and television. He has had recurring roles in television shows like Revolution and The Get Down. He also has directed and produced some TV shows like The Boys. In terms of his physical appearance, Esposito has aged naturally since his time on Breaking Bad. He has maintained his distinguished and sophisticated look and has not undergone any significant changes to his appearance. Raymond Cruz is an American actor who has made a name for himself in the entertainment industry with his incredible talent and versatility. Born in Los Angeles, he began his acting career in the late 80s and has since appeared in numerous films and television shows. However, his role as the volatile and charismatic drug lord Tuco Salamanca in the hit series Breaking Bad truly put him on the map. Cruz was in his mid-40s when he took on the role of Tuco, and his portrayal of the character was nothing short of mesmerizing. 
His intense, raw, and authentic performance earned him widespread critical acclaim, and his character quickly became a fan favorite. To prepare for the role, Cruz immersed himself in the world of drug trafficking and studied the behavior of real-life gang members. This dedication to the craft was evident in every scene, and it's no wonder that Cruz's performance was so powerful. Today, Cruz is in his late 60s, and his career is still going strong. He has appeared in a variety of projects since Breaking Bad, including the spin-off series Better Call Saul and the movie The Curse of La Llorona. He also has changed his look significantly since the end of Breaking Bad. He continues to be an influential figure in the entertainment industry, known for his incredible talent and dedication to his craft. Raymond Cruz has undergone a significant change in his appearance since the show ended. He is visibly aged and is often seen wearing longer hair, which is most likely dyed to look younger. Also, it seems that his hairline has thinned slightly. Apart from this, his physique is still in shape and he has not gained considerable weight. Mark Margolis is an American actor known for playing Alberto the Shadow in Scarface, Antonio Napa in Oz, and Hector Salamanca in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Was 68 years old during the filming of Breaking Bad and his performance was nominated for an Emmy Award in 2012. Margolis is known for his ability to convey a great deal of emotion and depth with very little dialogue. In Breaking Bad, Margolis portrayed Tio Salamanca, a retired cartel member who becomes an important figure in the series. His portrayal of the character was widely praised by critics, who noted his ability to convey a great deal of emotion through his facial expressions and body language. Margolis is now 83 years old, and his career is still going on. His appearance has not changed much since Breaking Bad. He has aged gracefully, and his white hair has become his signature look. He remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, known for his incredible talent, dedication, and his ability to captivate audiences with his performances. Who is best known for his role as Mike Ehrmantraut in the series Breaking Bad and its spin-off, Better Call Saul. He was born in 1947 and was in his early 60s during the filming of Breaking Bad. Banks' portrayal of Mike Ehrmantraut in Breaking Bad was widely praised by critics and audiences alike. He received critical acclaim for his performance, with many praising his ability to convey a wide range of emotions through his character. To prepare for the role of Mike, Banks spent time with a retired police detective to learn more about the character and his background. He also worked closely with the creative team to understand the character's motivations and backstory. As of 2023, Banks is 76 years old. He continues to act in both film and television, both as an actor and as a voice actor. He has a distinctive appearance with a bald head and white goatee, which he kept throughout Breaking Bad and still wears. In 2022, he won the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Network or Cable Television Series for his performance in Better Call Saul. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.